Also, are you making food right now? Is, is Can I have food? some? Yeah, okay. you must share. Yeah, 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 share with the class. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, also, share I with found the class. yes, it's yeah. fucking curse. Them's the rules. Shove it in an envelope and send it to me, please. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll rot and fester on by the time it gets to you. <laughs> send you a mold sample. <laughs> that, lovely, lovely. That one on the far right legitimately looks like something out of Five Nights at Freddy's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? He looks like he doesn't want to be there. Wait. There being existence. <laughs> He's there just in your soul. Actually they real. all look uncomfortable. Mm, no. The middle one is clearly like, he saw Bulbasaur the left one and looks with it. Okay, he just looks like he has a strong resting bitch face. The middle one looks like his life is suffering, and the right one looks like, I want to die. So what they did was they just gave a different type to each of the no. existing ones. Yeah. Oh, they did uh, very bad. So they made grass, water, fire, mm -hmm. grass, and water, fire. Oh, they've done them dirty. Yeah, they look horrible. Sorry, like back. every one of those looks like This is like real. This is, wait, this is real, then. This is real. No. No. Oh, thank no, God. This is just someone's oh. <laughs> the panic I that I felt real. there. <laughs> just, just from this uh, call. Oh my God. Po man, Pokemon's fallen off since I got like a second version of the starters that are all bad. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. All right. <laughs> that's just poorly made. You know, that's a source hey, filmmaker. Why you look so duffy? All right. I got more. Why was it black and white? We, the first ones? we need before to we get this. too far. We, yeah, we gotta get too. I'm gonna shut the fuck up before we get too far on this shitty starter reboot tangent. <laughs> oh, here, yes, yeah, yeah yes, know. yes, in body and soul. Unfortunately, right, well, we're we're gonna correct the latter part of that sentence later. But anyways, <laughs> I am going to go use the restroom real fast, and while I am gone, we will begin with you guys describing your characters. So not in game, in game game yet, but we'll do this preemptively. That being said, I will leave it up to you. Your semi-democratic uh, method of choice to determine who goes first. Well, I'm going to use the restroom real fast. And you guys are free to uh, gang up on one person like, you know, real democracy happens. I'll be right back. I All think right, Kirsty should go, go first. first. Oh, oh, come on! <laughs> there are two different answers there, so like, you immediately say make her do it, I'm just like, I can. Because I know others would agree. <laughs> oh, thanks, I have the weak, is that, I have the weak leg, is that it, is that Survival it? Of the oh, okay. Okay. Roll a d7. Uh, Survival of the d7. opportunist. Roll a d7, see uh, so I am, I am offended. Deeply Trigger. offended. I thought we were all friends. rolling d7s? No, roll initiative. Three, three, four, five. <laughs> Open the initiative tracker, roll initiative. Oh look, I got a five, so it's cursey. <laughs> Just don't look at that too closely. Wait, no, wait, are we going Discord or are we going Roll20? Mm, whichever one gets no, he, you. He just rolled five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. No, I could go one, first two. if nobody else wants to. I don't mind. Go ahead. Go for the chopping block. Go. I've already written mine, so I can just read. I oh, no, I didn't you, write I made um... art. So I could just look at the picture and be like, aha, this that is, is what true. Look like. that is I true. looked at the picture and wrote it down so I could read it later. <laughs> <laughs> See, I usually do that, but I forgot. Damn. I wrote it down, but I still feel like it's gonna sound stupid. Oh. Don't worry, we'll all sound more stupid, so... Yeah, I yeah. We're in the crew. Just wait till you hear Garth's. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna do it until Crash gets back, though. Because um, what's the point? That way we'll all know, and he won't. <laughs> exactly. We just never describe to Crash what our characters look like. Yeah, yeah. We just go through the entire the entire campaign. He's just like, yes, I know none of these people. Need not. I need you to stop. <laughs> I have no, so many more coming. Please, please. You need I not continue. Need... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Why does this one have a Hitler armband? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? The one on the left. <laughs> Mercy <laughs> buckets, why? All right, I'm back. A... <laughs> well, you all leave. All right, I'm done. Oh, Jesus. why did you roll me a thing? Why did you roll, why'd you roll a five? It's not even a roll. You just rigged a five. <laughs> yeah, because Nina yeah. was a video like I volunteer Kirsty. I'm like, all right, I'll roll for it, and I just did that because she's the fifth one. Yeah, I hate you all. But got to also... volunteer. Yeah, I'll just. Oh, you. Oh, you just had. But you actually decided to volunteer. Damn, I was, sure. I was hoping there'd be more. Uh... We decided who was going first, but nothing else. 
Nice. It was great because nice. I was just like, I could go first okay, yeah. at the same time. Me not like curse. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. I got something for that. So, oh, mm. if that's the case, we're all here. I hope. Yep. I'm here, and it's time to stop with all this stuff. <laughs> it's time to Gar stop. Garf, what does your character look like? Uh, 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 race, age, uh, uh, general disposition, facial description, equipment, attire, etc., etc., etc. Keep going. Keep listing things. Um, what's average height for a woman? It's like 5'10", five, 5'8". Five, that changes from country to country. <laughs> Fuck! For a what? That the average height of a person, regardless of the sex they are, changes from country to country, mate. Sorry. Shit, that's disappointing. Okay, 5'10". Like, a, five, the ten. average height of a woman in India versus in... It ain't 5'10". Drastically me. different. I don't, I don't think it's 5'10 anywhere. I think... I think... I, I know think it's not 5'10", uh, but I want them to be above average height, so there we go. Alright, you're just gonna stand out. Literally. No one cares. Average height of in India specifically women. India. <laughs> God damn it! It's a uh, five foot five. There we go. Uh, I had to. Okay, okay. so like five flat. Probably, or five five. Five flat. five is probably pretty standard. Nope, it's five flat. What? India. Oh. The dwarfs? <laughs> oh my gosh! Dwarf? <laughs> I mean, actually though, dwarfs Sweet. were based on India. That makes sense. Sweden, oh, yeah. Swedish women on average, according to this, are five five five. How yep. taller Canadian women? Are. Canadian Papa women Lucy. height average. Yeah. Um, Papa 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 Papa. Five Papa. three. Five Got three. in my mouth. Jesus. Five three. Ah, <laughs> three. Uh, you're at your small beans. So yeah, anyways. UK is about. There's a enough. series of yeah, averages for you to like pick four, from. Five or, no, five four. I think Scotland does. Five, four. Okay, I'm gonna l go with 5'8 in that case. Because 5'10 feels like you're kind of freakishly tall, and 5'8 is just like tall. Uh, there are a lot of women. That's funny, my wife's 5'11, uh, Garth. What are you trying to say? <laughs> I'm saying she's about the right height for you. You're like six foot, so. Uh, nerd. It's a situational so, thing. You just you found out your height. What about the rest <laughs> of your character description? Okay, so. Such there... a long thing for the height. <laughs> It was like yes, two I know. And this is why I was like two decisions you guys ought to make. Okay, make the uh. one decision. <laughs> okay, uh, oh. five a human, and not trying to hide it or anything. Uh, brown eyes with like a like a lighter, almost like red, kind of looking ring around the pupil. Not red. It's just like a reddish brownish kind of look to it. It's still brown, but amber. Um, amber's a good way to put it. Thank you. Uh, uh -huh. Most of their outfit is like this kind of like muted, uh, kind of like greens, browns, and grays. Uh, she doesn't wear like armor. She wears like a just like it's sort of a uniform, but it doesn't have any like protective bits on it. Uh, they have a short sword and probably like three throwing daggers on them. Uh, they seem like usually pretty kitted out for like military service of some degree uh they also have a face mask that covers like the bottom half of their face so usually that's not noticeable and they have a hood that covers most of their hair uh which is in a very long braid that goes like just hidden back there somewhere i don't know how it works i don't have long hair it's just hiding in there somewhere don't think about it <laughs> i'm just gonna imagine like princess leia like braid tied into a bun sure let's go with that um uh, with the mask off, they have, like, a very angular face. Uh, they don't have, like, resting bitch face. They have a very resting neutral face. Very resting neutral slash observant face, I guess. <laughs> like, they seem to... The just, passive. Yeah, very passive. Just kind of constantly taking in the environment kind of thing. Uh, I turned my iPad off. Oh. Yay. Nice. Uh, was there anything, anything else? else? It's up to you. Uh, she has a few <clears throat> little scars on her, uh, like, various parts of her body. Most of her limbs are, like, completely covered up. Uh, knuckles are a little beat up. There's, like, a slit in the eyebrow, because I just like that look, and that's the only reason that exists. <laughs> hey. Fair enough. <clears throat> yeah. I think that's probably it, then. Very well. 
All right, so you guys guys. democratically determined who was first, and then didn't decide the methodology thereafter. So that's why we'll use the same methodology. Well, if you look in roll twenty, someone already said that the second. And the. Hey, good, good. That was good. That's good. Mm. If not, if not, I was gonna let Garth just pick who the next one was, and that would be like popcorn (gasps) reading style of whoever goes gets the (laughs) next victim. No, that would just be Kristen. (laughs) Mm. I want to pick curse. <laughs> uh, you say that now. All right, Ninja. <laughs> Great. Uh, so a small boy standing only about five foot five inches, so 165 centimeters. Uh, very tired-looking young man, covered head to toe in greenish clothes. Some darker, some lighter, but generally woodish green. Uh, doesn't look like much of a fighter due to a slender build. More athletic, maybe, but with the bagginess of the clothes it's hard to get a good read uh, i'm at so is he does he have like uh what, what, what's the term like runner's physique yeah athletics like sprinters rather than yeah yeah as yeah. opposed to like a marathoners yeah. and so on somewhere between a gymnast and a uh, marathon runner I sort see, of I see, okay. flexible but endurance um he wears a cloak with a hood up mo- pretty much all the time uh there is a small scarf poking out though that probably extends further into the cloak itself due to its thickish nature the cloak covers uh his head up to just above where you can see the thick black hair that's about medium length coming down his fringe reaches just below his eyebrows just about covering his eyes depending on where he's, if he's looking up or down, uh, and it's held in a ponytail hidden beneath like a hood. His red eyes, physically red, not red from tiredness, although he does have tired lines underneath his eyes, so both could yep. be assumed. He's got the Wamba combo. <laughs> yeah, he's got the Wamba combo <laughs> of being tired and having red eyes. So oh, okay. just uh, just has red eyes. oh my god. Cool. Him Make him tire and he has naturally red eyes, dude. It'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> People will his, say skin, you his skin is naturally uh fair with freckles, but he is sort of unblemished in a way that is sort of odd. But then again, he looks pretty young, so it might just be he's young. <laughs> uh beneath his hood, if he ever takes it down, you will see a crown of thorns uh sort of woodish sort of like twigs growing out of his temples extending all the way back and weaving into uh just below where the ponytail is hidden so sort of like a a stigmata yes it is sort of like a laurel wreath but made out of twigs instead of laurel so do they make an effort to hide that it's growing out of their skull yes Okay. Yes. It is covered with hair at any point it connects and is normally covered by the hood. Also beneath his hood is his slightly pointed ears, although at a glance they could be mistaken for normal normal human ears. Moving further down the body, his cloak extends into sort of a poncho look, but is obviously a cloak seeing as it's clasped at the front with a hook to keep it in place. Uh, just below the where the arm extends out of the cloak, you can see two leather gauntlets that might extend into armor beneath the cloak, and then further down his hand into uh, the gaunt where the gauntlet stops is green wrappings of much like a monk or a boxer would wear. Similarly, on his legs below the shins down to his toes is a similar wrapping, but in a more brown colored, much more earthy in design. And then uh, a longish cloak, sort of like <coughs> half skirt, extends from beneath his cloak, where presumably the rest of his clothes is. Around, slung over one shoulder and then across to the other. Uh, like hanging at his hip is a sack, which presumably holds most of his equipment, seeing as he doesn't hold a backpack or other carrying equipment, at least visible. That is a question. Any visible weaponry? No visible weaponry. Uh, the only thing 
of note apart from the bag that is visible is a small old looking celtic designed ring with a small latch on the side that would open much like a locket and that's it Alrighty, already already Need not you uh, volunteered yourself for third. I did, I did, I did. Um, did we decide five eight was like average and five ten was tall? Or you guys can decide. It changes yeah. from place to place and province to province. Like, like if you're from the twins, you're probably shorter just due to malnutrition. Hey, what if about the from, hillens? If you're from, if you're from the, the hillens, hillens right. then you're probably taller, and so on and so forth. Like, there's it depends from province to province. Okay, well. Because I wrote it down already, we're gonna say Silas is five eight. Um, I wrote that their height mostly comes from their legs. Um, um, physically, they're slim, but they're like they're slim, but their build is boxy. If that makes sense. Mm, elaborate. I really don't know how. I was. If you can find any visual imagery as reference, we could. We'll be. That, <laughs> the court will accept it. Uh, I'm just. <laughs> <thinking> of, <laughs> I'm literally just thinking of a lynx body type, but standing up. That's all we need. Yeah. We we don't have to veil your character descriptions with flavor and fluff and imagery unless you so choose. <laughs> Haha. If you choose to, then yeah. If you choose to, then be my guest. <laughs> As there I told you things. before, I will 100% use memes and other forms of media, like books or video games and movies, to describe a scene because it's just the fastest way to transmit information to you guys. It really is. Yes. So, you guys are free to do that for your character descriptions. That being said, no one can pull the, this is what my character looks like to show the token of the art, alright? No one fucking do that. <laughs> I plot is ruined. I found a little <laughs> Um, <laughs> I'll yeah, pass for you because you, if you may, if you did your own character art, you get a pass. Shit. <laughs> um, they um they wear like a really heavy warm coat, um, so that covers up a lot of stuff. They've got their armor underneath, so you don't really see it much. Um, they also because you mentioned hiding identity, I forgot about that. They have they have um both the coat hood up but also a cloak underneath like a much lighter like just something to cover um they've got gloves boots their tail is small so you can't see it anyway um they uh carry a rapier in like um on like a sheath on their side so that's visible they have a dagger that you can't see and they have a backpack um and there's also, what did I write? There's a hard case made of wood that attaches to the backpack containing their violin. Okay, okay. Uh, what's your character's disposition? Are they happy looking naturally? Are they passive or tired looking? If we're using the previous two people as precedent. <laughs> what do they look like if you caught them? If I were a random stranger and walked past them, what impression would I get? Assuming uh... no one had pissed in your coffee or given you five bucks for free. <laughs> They'd be very observant, and they they would look friendly. Not, I'm trying to like think of how to describe it. Like you wouldn't be scared to approach them, but they also aren't. They don't look naive or anything. If that makes sense. Okay, Roger, Roger. Anything else? Am I missing anything? That's up to you, to man. Down. That's all the I have. More you describe now. now. The more you, if the if questions, if should they, I don't say they are, but should they come <laughs> up later, then you just be like, I already told you, <laughs> or at least you'll have an answer for saying I already told you. But up to you guys to, to determine how long your character descriptions are. I, I mean, not really. They, there you have fur all over. They have paw pads, but you can't see them because of the gloves. Hmm. How does that come into effect when performing music? I actually, ha I actually spent ten minutes <laughs> looking up things for that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't fucking the worry dedication. about it. Don't fucking worry about it, D&D, right? That, that, there's, there's, <laughs> it there's works. A they, they, they use the back end of their, their claws to play instead of the paw, the pads of their fingers, right? Just just fill the fuck out. They use a <laughs> fucking pick! No. Yeah, wha whatever. Do whatever the fuck you guys want. Dude, yeah. <laughs> violin. I don't gotta explain this shit. Yeah, yeah. For a violin, it's even less relevant because you just use a bow. 
So well, but holding down the string still needs. It's so uh, hard. You can use a binder. I'm, I'm not getting another fucking tangent like with the Star <laughs> Pokemon shit. <laughs> All right, who's next up? If if it's no volunteers, I will roll for it randomly. Uh, I can go. Thank you for volunteering. Uh, so my character is named Dee. She is a high elf. Uh, she's like five foot seven. Yeah, five foot seven. She's quite tall um, and slender. She's like around. She has like dark. She has a darker skin tone, and like wears a traditional like woven headband. Um, she has like a sheath like one piece black outfit, and an average size navy blue cloak. Uh, with a hood, so uh, she also wears a belt for like easy access to her rapier and daggers. And, like has her short, she's wearing her sh short bow strapped to her back. Uh, she looks tired, but she's um quite friendly. Like, she had, like, a friendly approach if someone was to come up to her. A tired uh, elf is a very interesting concept. Because <laughs> they don't sleep. <laughs> yeah, uh, yep, I yep. mean, elves can just, still be tired, but... Uh, yeah, just, just world weirdy, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> Fair. Uh, just, yeah, uh, w winning descriptions thus far is observant and tired at two apiece. <laughs> <laughs> we're just we're just sleepy, we're sleepy guys. It's a intuitive thing because if you're tired, you're not observant. But if you're observant, you're not tired. But you're, yeah, it's a really interesting thing so far, isn't it? No, you just might be paranoid. Ah, observant but tired. So like a lot of drug addicts. So he has uh white, like silvery white hair and like white eyes. But yeah, done with my description. <laughs> Fair enough. Nice. Who's next up? Or shall I start drawing lots? Uh, I can oh, go, go up for the chalk and block. Oh no, yeah, Fine. no, go for it! Yeah. <laughs> Your cowardice is noted. The, <laughs> the second you someone will... else says, I'm good. Immediately after, and there'll be no question uh, there. Right. <laughs> Damn it. Fred, right. you Let's... go, and then I will send Kirsty to the executioner's block. <laughs> I'll say, so, uh, question Do you want the bit first or the description first? Description first. All right. Uh, Sajar is a tall, athletically lean man. He's got long, um, semi-long, platinum-colored hair and violet eyes. Uh, going from the back of his neck down onto his shoulders and covering most of his arms, his skin is covered in iridescent draconic scales, which he displays proudly uh, by wearing a um, black, loose-fitting silk tunic with a metal neckline, rolled-up sleeves, he also wears something similar to a pair of kind of like these uh, black harem pants. In the colder climate, he'd also wear a brocade uh, coat, black, with silver detailing. On each of his fingers, he has a bejeweled gold ring. And in his left ear, he has a teardrop opal, uh, of like a fire opal. In his right, he has four sardonyx, sardonyx pearls. Uh, two black ones and one with white swirls in them, one smaller above the uh, a larger one, and two red ro red ones with a similar arrangement. So small one on top, a larger one below, uh, but higher up though on the earlobe. Uh, resting on his shoulder, he's uh, got a well kept great sword, and by his feet, a similarly well man maintained backpack. Not wearing it. That is what he looks like. All right, I'm in the mix. Oh, As right. for the bit, go on. Uh, I must confess a degree of surprise. I do, in all sincerity, find it alarming that you have not heard of me. Oh, How God. can you not have heard of Sajar the iridescent, Milash the resplendent, Turanan the far traveled, or of Zeshimandrak Serian the learned? No, 
I will not countenance the slight born of cruel circumstance. I am Sajar Milash Turan and Teishi Mandrak Serian, and you are welcome to bask in the honor of my presence. You have to love when a character description includes a sales pitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the elevator pitch. It's like, have you not heard of me? It's like, okay. <laughs> so, well, we do now. Vanity, vanity is always a. Well, there's always been vanity and pride, in fairness. Uh, it's always a fun character trait. Yeah. See, Kirsty, you got a two for one special on on that. So, thus, it's only fair now that you go next. I call Mercy. I'll go next. Ah, I'll just scrape my... <laughs> no, it's like, I'll go, I'll go. Okay. Uh, right, I didn't write anything, so be prepared for my god-awful description, but here we go. Um, where's the art thing? Okay. So, my character um, is a tiefling. She stands at about roughly five foot five. Um, she has very, very dark, uh, almost black skin, kind of just sort of dark purpley red kind of tone. Um, very sort of piercing kind of golden eyes. Um, her horns sort of start from the, the base sort of back of the skull near them sort of come forward and then up. Uh, going from gold at the top sort of going down to a sort of darker uh, darker brown. Um, she also has uh, these tattoos over from what you can tell from most of her body. Uh, that show again anyway. You can sort of see like little lines over her fingers, that kind of thing. She's got um sort of very delicately sort of done lines over her forehead, down under her eyes, uh neck as well. Um She's also got some down her tail, which she's just sort of showing, doesn't seem to care that it's flapping about the place, but there we are. Um she has a clothing wise, uh it's a bit kinda Rough and ready, I think would be the best best description. She's got this really big sort of tattered trench coat on. It's like sort of tattered at the bottom, bit ripped, covered in mud. Her boots as well are coated in mud. They go up sort of to her knee. Um, she has on some leather armor that looks quite worn, possibly secondhand, something along those lines. Um, sort of cardigan on underneath to sort of keep her warm, and a big sort of kind of fur pelt that she's uh, maybe maybe it looks like it's sort of been like hand stitched into their into her trench coat and she also holds a um rifle over her over her shoulder with a bayonet on the end um as for kind of her disposition um if she's i guess you guys are making this sort of she sort of seems a bit <laughs> bewildered with everything and a little bit confused like she's sort of struggling to keep up with what's happening um, a little bit out of her element, I think, would probably be the best description. And I shall spam the picture. She's also oh, tired and observant. Oh yeah, she's <laughs> she's very tired observant. and observant as well. Yes, I just had to, I just I have to add that in there naturally. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel but, like uh, you're already. Yeah, from yeah. the twins and tired. <laughs> <laughs> you look it's all twinsy in there. <laughs> Definitely, but yeah. So I also yeah. Just want to look at the picture. She's What's her hair is obviously, um, sort of a very very pale uh, blonde, like sort of more blonde at the end, but sort of going up to almost so just like ashen blonde. Yeah, yeah. What's but the almost like paper white the top. It is a little uh, symbol of a well, my attempt anyway at drawing a, a tree, um, that's etched in there. The gun itself looks older than she is. Um, or it could just be very well worn. Um, oh, well, most of her gear looks very well worn. Hmm. And yeah. Uh, it is a question. It does, if it's, It is well worn, but is it still well maintained? Yeah. Yeah. Noted. Noted. Oh, yeah, before I forget as well, she has a, uh, some gauntlets on as well. Uh, which has a rune. I don't know if any of you would be able to recognize it, but <laughs> anyway, yeah, there's a rune on there, um, which doesn't really seem, it looks quite old as well, a bit tired at the edge, a bit frayed, but uh, still seems to be in working order. Uh, let me see, am I missing anything on my drawing? Just quick, like, I think, no, I think that's, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, yeah. Just bewildered and out of depth. That is, that is my, my gal. 
Help, Fair I don't enough. know how I got here. Pretty much. I <laughs> just don't know why I'm here. I like if I look in your character sheet under weight, it says, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> why would you ask? I'm sorry, universe. I guess I don't have a way. You flow <laughs> off into space and hit the sun and die. The end. I, I will accept this. I just, I weight my boots. It's, you know. All right. Uh... I would say tieflings are Nevros as well in the setting. A lot of things are Nevros. Lovely yep. thing. Yep. Are you keeping your identity hidden? Am I what, sorry? Hellland? Are you keeping your identity hidden here in the Hillands? Where she they probably... have a distinct uh, antagonistic relationship with the Nevros population. Oh, well, that's the thing. She probably, well, she probably Maybe. wouldn't know to, to keep it hidden at first, but she probably learns pretty uh... quick. So I imagine she'd be like, oh, okay, oh, keep quiet. <laughs> Um, I hate the accent, you know. <laughs> Meanwhile, the tail. Yeah. Oh, yes. Say yes. Has it, she hasn't gotten that far. That that far yet. <laughs> it will be the tail of the pants, I'm sure. Yeah, By the way, yeah. Dorky, what was your character's name again? Neat. Uh, oh yeah. yes. Yeah. Change yeah. your name on roll oh. twenty, Dorky. Uh, so go to the cog in the top right, and then it'll be like your character name and uh, da -da -da -da. Okay. or display name rather, display name. Yeah, change yeah. it, change it, change it to. Well, follow the format at the bottom of the screen there. Your, your names. It's a little easier. Wait, so uh, I am a uh, Anushka. Please. So, That's last cool. but certainly not least, oh, what does your character look like? Unless someone, unless I'm actually an extra, gained an extra chromosome and I skipped someone, in which case I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Which, okay, good. I have, I still have the extra chromosome. I'm gonna cash it in later though. Yeah, I think you develop more of those after. Earth, although maybe living under a power line or something. <laughs> Whoa, shit. You, know, you, shit. you keep the same number all the way through your life unless you develop Down syndrome. No, I, I, no, I, have, a, I have a certificate. Call it whenever. I, I act stupid. But yeah, nonetheless. Oh, what does your character look like? So, standing next to Sisha Maras Turanan Sesim Ninjak Sereon. Oh, oh, my God. God. oh, oh my my God, you, that you learned that only oh, You should be surprised. He he was the one that came off RMR and Minifax. Is uh, uh, a fairly young looking man. Tan skin, whitish blonde hair, around six foot with a decent build, wearing a gambeson and studded leather over it like a vest. He has fairly baggy uh, clothes on that are blue and uh, a, a light shade of gray, and he carries a a very ornate sword at his side and a spear on his back. He has very striking features, and he always looks halfway like he's looking around him and halfway like he's looking into the future. Whenever he gets information, it's... It's not a quick response, but a measured one that comes from it. After thought. Mm -hmm. Armaments. Besides, an, he has a bow as well, but a a fairly plain spear that is longer than a traditional one, but a a very ornate sword. At a side that is very thin but long, longer than a regular long sword, but much thinner. Does he have like a shield or anything? No shield. Okay. It's a one-hander. Sounds like like an offbeat Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame you don't. You're as. A, I don't know. Oh, do you have plans for your character to use a shield in the future, or is it, or is the style? I mean, um... I just don't have the proficiency with the. Oh, okay, fair <laughs> oh, enough. Oh, right. <laughs> like, Damn, of course, I would that. use the shield. I just don't have the proficiency. Damn. <laughs> there is a shield out there. It's a legendary shield. It's called Noble Gravitas. Jesus, it's it, made for him. It can literally like black hole enemies and pin them in place, as if it went. It's, it's like Mjolnir. It can get an oh enemy stuck somewhere. Yeah. Um, you guys might have the chance to get it. I'll say that. Um, it was present in the previous campaign. The uh, royal governor had it. Hmm. Just he never got in a fight, so he never had to use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. And the thing is, like, you would have heard of Noble Gravitas. It's sort of a legendary shield. It can only 
be attuned to by nobility. Not that you're noble spirited even. You have to be decreed a noble by the king in order to attune to it. So have fun with that. Interesting thing. Alrighty, my friends. I think that's it for descriptions. Yes. It's not oh super boy. important, but I forgot that Silas has a lamp. I imagine a lot of you guys have torches, lamps, lanterns, and the things alike, consider how none of you guys have dark vision. <laughs> <laughs> I Suckers. Can't see. Shit. We found shit! Did you turn on your lights? Shit! Sir, sir we're combing the desert. Alrighty. So, let's get into it. Shit. Actually, do you guys want a five minute break? Awesome. Restroom, drinks, food, snacks, etc. etc. Uh, et I'd be against it. Good. Well, I need to go to the toilet. I'll be back. Five, okay, there we go. Five minute break. Simple as that. on. Just because the sky as I am to start it doesn't mean we gotta like, cut off all the functions for it. A <laughs> uh, quick note. I forgot yes, to mention Sajoris ASMR and he does not hide that he's never. Yeah, I saw that in the chat. Does he uh, have a nickname? You guys are. <laughs> there are gonna be so many Hilllanders that are going to want to. Uh. Talk. Cause bodily harm? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't say it in such a literal manner. <laughs> I love how everyone else is just like, oh yes, I don't care about hiding how weird and unique I am, and then my character's just like, I'm hiding everything, but I'm just a person. I'm just everything. A <laughs> well, you guys will... You'll see. You'll see. You know, I'm a, I'm a, hiding I'm a, I'm a, I'm a cap, capitalize off a break. Be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I hate it here. <laughs> I wanna go home! I wanna go back to the twins. I know, I oh, liked it there. <laughs> I wanna go back to the heartlands. Things were spooky like me. Everyone's gonna talk to me there, no one's gonna talk to me I here. Know. I understood what was going on there, what the hell? <laughs> what are all these really big buildings? It's just like a house. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, fun times. The only thing that's not covered up about Silas is their face. Like, and it's not... I mean, they don't have a mask. They have a, mm. a hood, as much as that'll help. Yeah. So I can cover myself in my little sewn-in mane. <laughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Never. No. Hey. Oh, I'll just, I'll just leave them. Okay. That'd be great. Thanks. Bye. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Every time. I hate you all. Why, why have I stuck around this long? I don't know. I'm, I feel a Stockholm syndrome at this point. I want you here. It's a mystery to all of us. I'm not the only mm -hmm. twins person. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Wait, we have twins people? We have to eliminate them. Obviously. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Really feel a bit up here, guys. They're from the twins. You know how I really? I don't know why. We've been pretty, by now. pretty open yeah, in our been. hostility. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? What can I say? I'm just, I just like really, really deep, deep, really just, you're do, you're really just look at them. You're a Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the shameful truth comes out. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> look, I'm not here to yuck your yum, but yuck. <laughs> I'm gonna Don't yuck my you. yum. What the fuck? <laughs> no. I might just go and lay down on the sidewalk outside. It is so hot in here right now. Yeah, just rub it in. It is here. I miss the heat. I want it to be cold. Swap with me then, please. That's funny, please it's swap with me. I would, I would if I could. It's 51 right now in Florida. Oh, it's I hate it. for you? Yeah. What the hell? 